When I got fitted for my new golf clubs in 2023, there were a few different options that I discounted straight away. And having tested these irons now, I'm starting to think I maybe shouldn't have discounted them at all. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to this YouTube channel. In today's video, we are testing the Mizuno JPX Forged Irons. We're going to test them both in the golf swing simulator for numbers. And we're also going to test them out here on the golf course in the elements oh, yeah. where it really matters. We're going to kick things off here with the seven iron and I'm going to make sure that I'm using the right irons for me. And also, could these be the right irons for you? You see, I think these are pretty much the perfect iron if you like the idea of a good looking sexy iron that feels fantastic and also performs probably as good if not better than most things on the market you see this looks so good down at the ball i can't believe i really discounted these as a set of irons the fitter down at the mizuno he actually said james how do you feel about a little bit more of a forgiving iron one with a little bit more of a cavity a little bit more well help this is the new mizuno jpx 923 forged Check that out for a ball flight. It, it, they are so good. They feel amazing. They look amazing. And performance wise, stay tuned to this video in the Golf Swan Simulator. You can see just how they do perform. That was the first swing of today and felt glorious. That felt incredible. Look at that fade back now. I have tested some shots already with these clubs guys in here in the studio. And I must say, I found very different results in that when I strike them incredibly well, they do go a lot further. I'll be really interested to see what happens out here on the golf course. Oh, look at that one as well. That is all over the flag. Be good. That is absolutely frightening. So guys, what's important about these irons is yes, they look good, yes, they feel good, yes, they have the performance to them. You could also split set them with a set of JPX Tor or with a bigger iron in the top end. And really, I mean, that's a bad shot. And that's what you're gonna get with these irons. That's why I think these could be the best irons for majority of golfer this year. Because if you hit the ball there, this is gonna be a lot more friendly than a lot of other clubs another incredible strike although that's left that's a pull that's going to be long left i imagine with quite low spin that is the perfect number seven thousand spin for a seven iron that for me is remarkable because i would be really worried about just how these would perform if you do hit that low left one that's a toey one as well this is exactly how i would want to swing though in here testing this club i want to know it still goes 157 in the air with the worst strike ever. Yes, the spin dropped there, as you can see, because it was a terrible strike, but really good to know it's still going the distance. That's the one. Look how straight that is. That is straight as an arrow, out the middle of the club, and still a good distance, still 165 yard carry, which is what I would want. Let's jump back on the golf course. Let's test these where it really counts. Then we'll jump back in here. We'll look at the four iron and see just how that performs because if you are gonna have a four iron in the bag, it probably wants to be uh, quite a forgiving one. So guys, do me a huge favor, get in the comments below and let me know what irons are you using in 2023? Have you tried Mizuno? Do you like Mizuno? Do you like the more forgiving aspect of Mizuno as in the forged iron instead of the tall iron? I'm gonna split this video up both out here on the golf course in the wind and in the new golf sun simulator. So make sure you check that out if you want to see all the numbers. But so far, so good. Now, the big thing that I want to see here is the consistency element. You can see that middle shot was absolutely spectacular. The first one was okay, nice fade in. The last one that was toey, yeah, it was toey. It's not quite going to have the ball speed. It's short left. So is it really that forgiving, do you ask? If you're going to miss the green with a bad shot, you might as well do it with a set of irons that are pretty much the best looking irons on the market ever. I mean, don't get me wrong. These are no slouch. I've now got a four iron in my hand. And the thing with the four iron, if you look down at it, you can sort of start to see a little bit of that cavity back. It almost looks a little bit too big. But then I suppose you could say, well, it's gonna fill you with confidence because you are in fact hitting a four iron that should be going anywhere 200 plus yards. And who doesn't want forgiveness with that? I do. Right, before we jump back in the golf swan simulator, let's see just how versatile these can be from off the tee. 
I want to play a draw, a fade, and then a nice low stinger. That for me is a sign, a shine? That for me is a sign that I could potentially have these in the bag because then I've got the best of every world. I've got forgiveness, I've got looks, I've got sound, I've got feel, I've got performance. The list goes on. First shot, draw, starting right, finishing middle of the fairway. Oh dear. That was more a bad swing. I mean, it drew, I can't really argue with that. And it's still quite a good position. You know what, that's the forgiveness element I'm talking about. Initially, I thought that was gonna be horrendous. Okay guys, we are back inside the Golf Sun Simulator, which is exactly where I want to be to test these numbers. The four iron does look great, although as I have said, you can sort of see that protruding cavity back just a little bit in the long irons. Come on, nice big. Oh, I think that good. I feel that good, it's a tiny bit left. I've got to admit, it's still going in there. That's gonna be big. 200 yard carry for me with a four iron. That's there or thereabouts to be fair. Nice spin number as well. Plenty of spin on this, which is what you do want if you are testing kind of players slash forgiving irons. Come on, keep a straighter. That. That's the fade we like. That is a perfect shot. It's finishing on the center line of the fairway. And that's a shot that I feel really safe doing. The fact I can do that with these JPX forged irons makes me think, do you need anything else in regards to workability? That's better. That's cutting back to the middle. Very consistent, just a couple of yards in that, which is what you do want. Better golf swing that as well. Guys, if you want to check out a video on the brand new Golf Sun Simulator, they are two totally different ball flights though, aren't they? I must admit. That is the one. That is the one that makes you think, I could put these golf clubs in the bag, no hassle at all, four iron right down to wedge. Again, that's exactly the same carry as the last shot. Exactly the same. Should I have these golf clubs in the bag? Guys, get in the comments below and let me know. We're gonna talk through all the numbers in just a second. Tried to play that lower and it has done. Okay, here's the big one. Can I hit a little stinger? The idea behind these irons is CGs push back ever so slightly. That perimeter weighting does help you maintain ball speed on off center hits, but it's not designed to be able to be hit low unless. Oh yeah, that is Tiger Woods-esque and that turf interaction, ball flight, everything about it for me still looks gorgeous even with the new spring grass on there. Hmm. I've tried to play that lower and it has done. You can even work them. You look at the difference in trajectory there. It's exactly the same again. That's pitched right next to it with a totally different trajectory. That is ridiculous. Right. I'm sort of starting to think maybe, just maybe these should have gone, maybe could go, who knows. Let's have a look at the numbers. So guys, look at the numbers for the four iron here in the Golf Sun Simulator. Just check out that average, 201.3 yards. We had a 200, 200, a 201, a 201, and a 202. Absolutely ridiculous. Plenty of spin on there as well. 135 ball speed. I'm really, really, really happy with that. And the big thing is that I could hit low ones, I could hit high ones. I didn't really lose anything with that. So you have seen both Mizuno JPX forged mid iron and long iron in action, both out here on the golf course and on the golf sun simulator. The numbers are good, the numbers are strong, but how consistent is it? We're gonna finish this video with a couple of seven irons into this 18th hole. It is a horrible flag to try and attack, especially from 170 yards out. I do feel like this seven iron goes longer than my seven iron, but the fact that I've hit that fady four iron just there on the center line and the stinger one just past it, fills me with confidence that I could hit four iron, seven iron into what's not really an easy hole. And as distance consistency goes with the four iron off the tee, fade, draw, which was a bit of a hook, and then the low one into the wind, which has gone further. Tick. Right, I've actually given us 180 yards here. This is a big seven iron for me. My seven iron is usually a 165. I feel like with it being downwind, I can muscle these here. I'm looking for consistency. I'm looking for three balls on the green, nothing more, nothing less. Ball's a tiny bit above our feet, but it shouldn't affect it too much. Maybe a little draw off those bunkers. Or just stay straight at the bunker. That was such a good swing. 
Oh, that's took a oh, kicked into the bunker. It's flag high. The ball's just not moved off the lie. That's nothing shy of annoying, really. That's one not on the green. Come on. It's a narrow target from this distance. Good distance, though. Flag high. There we go. That's the money shot. Be good. That is absolutely what I wanted. Flag high, just left of the flag, a nice birdie putt. We've got one more. It's the same again. That's cutting close, so that could be good. That could be very good, in fact. That's another one that's pitched bang flag high. It's just run to the middle of the green, though. That was a little bit toey. The spin will have dropped off there, definitely, just like it did on the Golf Song Simulator if I put the same swing on it. But some really good reactions there from a club where if you hit a bad shot, it's not going to go straight for you. I just didn't encounter it would stay straight from that lie with the first one. That is two shots banging the centre of the green from this distance, which I'm really happy with. The other one is, in fact, in the captain's bunker. So I now owe the captain here a pound, I think it is. Doesn't count if you hold it though, does it? That's where I went to school. Chance. Go on. Still a pound in the jar. 